Um, so this is a typical example that you could expect to do. So we need to find a position. So you know you have like vitamin tablets that contain iron. Yeah. So sometimes say, well, how much iron is there in your tablet? Well, let's see. So we're going to find a percentage mass of iron in one of these vitamin tablets. We took 0.325 grams of the tablet, dissolved it in some water and some acid, and then we titrated it against potassium permanganate solution, and it took 12.10 centimeters cubed of 0.002 moles per decimeter cubed to react completely with it. We need to find out how much iron was actually in the tablet. So, first thing we're going to do, this is the equation which you need to know. What's the first thing I would do? Moles of MnO plus. Real. So let's do moles of MnO4 minus is going to equal <coughs> concentration times volume over 1,000. So that's 0 0.00200 times my 12.1 So I've worked out how many moles of potassium for manganese. Yeah. yeah, four dollars. A bit mad. Okay, what do I need to relate this to? Moles of Fe2 plus. Real. How do I do that? Look at the equation. Five. You sure? Yeah. Do what? Five. Do what? To... Five. You reckon? Times by five. five. Times by five. Thank you. <laughs> so five times. Awesome. I am a bit, a bit, you know, dead. Um, equals zero point zero 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 one two one moles. Cool. So I now know how many moles of iron I had. What do I want? I need to find the percentage mass. So what do I need to times that by? I need to work out my mass of Fe2 plus. Yeah, times by molar mass. Yeah, times by molar mass. Which is 55.8 grams. Oh, and then do you put it over the total gram of the tablet times by To give you that. Right, so that is grams of iron. So, I now know how much iron I've got, so what's the final thing I need Put to do? Put it over the 0 0.325 and times by 100. Fabulous. So, 0 0.067518. So Divided by the original mass, which was 0 0.325, times it by 100. Let's do that. Oh, 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 we've done something bad. Uh, 0.325 times that by 100, and I reckon that gets me to 2.08% uh, of iron in the tablet. So, this is um, a type of a question you may be given. So, you don't know anything about oxidising hydrogen peroxide. However, they've given you enough information to be able to work it out. So, they've told me I took 25 centimetres cubed of hydrogen peroxide and I popped it into a 250 centimetres cubed volumetric flask and made it out with distilled water. I then took 25 centimetres cubed of that, acidified it and titrated it with 0.02 moles per decimeter cubed uh, potassium permanganate solution and I used 38 centimetres cubed. It wants me to calculate the concentration of the original solution of this one and they've given me this half equation here. Yeah, so the first thing, you need to know the half equation for potassium permanganate, or the manganate one. So, the for manganate it was MnO4 minus plus... 8H plus... 8H plus... Plus 5 electrons goes to Mn2 plus plus 4 H2O. Yeah, you need to know that. So, we're now going to combine the
these two together. What do you need to do to the top equation? Times it by five. No, two and, two and a half. Two and a half. Well, we can times it by five, and this one I'm going to times by two. By two. So let's do that and add them together. Notice it's already done it quite nicely, but I've got electrons on this side and that one and the other side, so I can just add them together. So overall, I'm going to have. Yeah, yeah, so they cancel. I don't need yeah. to swap one equation around. Yeah. 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 Um, plus 2mn over 16h plus. Did the h pluses cancel out? Uh, yeah, they probably, yeah, they will, won't they? Yeah. Uh, goes to 5 over 2 plus 10h plus plus 2mn 2 plus plus 4. 8. Oh, 8. And you're right, I can actually cancel some of those H pluses out, can't I? Mm -hmm. And you can cancel them with the two and a half. And then both sides Yeah, that's right. Yeah, watch out for that. Yeah. So that actually is going to become six, and then this guy is actually going to disappear. Like so. Yeah, I need that. I'm not actually that interested in the H plus, am I? But it makes it look pretty. Yeah. So we're going to have 10 um, electrons on the right hand side. Yeah. Right and 5 on the, on the left. So therefore, there's 5 on the right. Oh, 10. I can't oh, 10. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Okay, so that's my overall equation. Now I've got that sorted, I can go back and put some numbers in. First thing, what's the first thing I'm always going to do? Find the moles of Mn. Yeah, real. Moles of Mn over 4 minus is my concentration times volume over the thousand 0 0.02 times 38 over a thousand comes to 0 0.0 So I found out the moles. The next thing I'm going to do is find out the moles of H2O2 that was in my 25 centimetres cubed by using the titration. So what do I need to do to that number? For every two, five of those Divide by two times by five. Fabulous, yeah. Mm -hmm. Divide by two and times by five. Which gives me 0 0.0019 moles. Right, okay, so that was in 25. So let's scale that up. So, how many <coughs> moles did I have? Moles of H2O2 in the 250 centimeters cubed. Yeah, 0 0.0019 times 10, which is 0 0.019 moles. Can you just do concentration? And now, yeah. Is it both moles and moles? So the number of moles is 250. Now, but originally that came from 25. Yeah. So my uh, concentration of the original solution is going to be that number of moles divided by 25 times by 1,000. Is that because the number of moles of H2 is going to be the same in 25 as the 200? Yeah, yeah, because I took, I took that number of moles and added it to the... To, okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, so in the original hydroperoxide solution? Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. Do you have the original solution? Well, here. Oh. Yeah, yeah, because that was in 250. Yeah, now I'm going to divide it by 25, which is the original volume. And so you get it moles. No, no, because I took that number of moles I found was in this 250. But that number of moles came originally from that 25. There. There's two times that 
Yeah. yeah. Sorry. No, no, it is a little bit repugnant. Yeah. And that gives me 0.76 moles per decimeter cubed. So the reason why is because originally I took 25 centimeters cubed and I made it. I added that and I made it to 250 and then from that I took 25 centimetres cubed to do the titration with. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. So here I found out how many was in that 25. Okay, so that's here, that 25. Here I then scaled that up to how much must be all in the <laughs> How much must yeah. be in the so I found out in that two so in that 25 was 0.0019 moles. Mm -hmm. Therefore, in here was 0.019 moles. And all the moles yeah. there must have come All of those yeah. must have come from that original 25, <coughs> which is that's why I do that there. Oh. Okay. 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 Yeah, so that's why. So it sometimes helps to draw a little picture yeah, for yourself. Yeah.